Hey, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. What do we got here? I have a pair of 1860 Colt Army revolvers. Hey, where in the world did you get these? I actually just moved to Vegas, and uh, I found them in my garage. It's a hell of a find. <laughs> We were cleaning out the garage. We found this wooden case, and in the wooden case was the uh, revolvers. I'm hoping to get 20,000 for the guns today. I just don't have any use for them, and they're just collecting dust. So hopefully, I can make some money on them. They're beautiful guns. Basically, what they are is Civil War Army issue Colts. This is one of the reasons why the North wanted the Civil War. They were just better armed. And the Colt Army was, I would say, the best pistol out there during the Civil War. This was so high tech at the time. I mean, you can actually shoot six shots within a few seconds. Samuel Colt had been working on perfecting the revolver since the 1830s. And by the time of the Civil War, he hit it big with the Colt Army. It was precision engineered, quick, and reliable. Some of the engraving back then was just amazing. It really was. And this wasn't machine done. That was all hand done. These were craftsmen. You had to be great at engraving to work for Colt. So how much do you want for them? Um, 20,000. All right, do you know how much a pair of 1860 Colt factory engraved pistols are worth? A, pa a pair of them? No, I didn't. Um, over $100,000. A guy came in with some Civil War era engraved revolvers. If these things were engraved by the Colt factory, they could be worth over a hundred grand. <sighs> these are real deal Colts, and they're fully engraved. But, so you have this serial number, which is 98,000, and this serial number, 144,000. There's a 50,000 gun difference here. Right. They would have pulled these right off the assembly line, either right next to each other or real close to each other. The serial number wouldn't be off by like more than 20 or 30 numbers. And also, we're talking the 1860s. Guys didn't like flowers on their guns. Right. What I believe we have here is some guy, I don't know how long ago, but he basically took some guns that were pretty beat up, I imagine and he spent a gazillion dollars worth of work on them, he did make them worth more. But they're not factory engraved. We're nowhere near the six figures they would go for if they were factory engraved. But these Colts are a very attractive pair, and Colts are as collectible as they come. All said and done, son, what are we going to pay for them? 3500 they just seem like they're in great condition. They're over 100 years old, and I've never seen anything like them. How about 6,000? I really wish you had like a sea battle scene or an army scene engraved on the cylinder. Can you take four grand? How about 5,500? I'll tell you what, I'll give you five grand. I, I think that's a fair, fair price. Can you get them to offer more? I I was thinking 45 cents. What sounds good to me? I can't go up to five. Well, I've already offered him that debt. Yeah, I know. That's you, not me. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, five grand's it. Five grand is it. I'll do the five. All right. Thank you. We'll write these things up. I'm not really into guns, man. I'm walking out with $5,000, and I'm going to go buy me a new motorcycle.